or get help from. I myself used to have a best friend. Now he's a skeleton. Tonight's tale is about two such people, David and Brian, two friends that would help each other do anything. But sometimes, you should keep things to yourself. Thanks for the ride, man. Can you, uh, you open the trunk already, dude? Yeah. Open it. I don't know why you're in such a rush. Like, look, dude, just come on. Just fucking open the trunk, dude. Come on. Okay, before I open the trunk, you gotta tell me what's going on. You're making me drive for like two hours out of town. <laughs> Okay, look, I said to you, I said to you, didn't I? You remember when I said this to you? I said, no questions asked. I said, will you drive me out here and I can just do this quickly? Yeah, and what is this? What did you no put in my asked. trunk? You agreed, no questions asked. Yeah, I agreed before I knew it would take so long. Oh, geez. This is fucking creepy, man. Come on, man. You said you would do anything for me. All in the fucking trunk. No questions asked. Okay, do you really want to know? You really want to fucking know? You're not gonna like it though. You're not gonna like it. Do you want? Okay, you really want me to tell you what the fuck's going on? So, generations ago, my ancestor, great, 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 great grandfather, whatever you want to say, he there was a gypsy man. And he fell. This gypsy man. <laughs> he slaughtered all. He completely massacred the entire place, right? I mean, it's funny because you think about it, you know, it's attacking right now, but he killed all of them. Women, children, men, all of them. But there was another camp that found them. And so I'm sure you can imagine they were a little upset about this. And they cursed my ancestor. Relative. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And we have this thing now where just every now and then we crave human flesh and <laughs> human flesh yeah you know we go out and we just eat something. you know we we murder you know, it's a little a little way of uh showing us what we really are i guess you could say uh, <laughs> are you you're talking about cannibalism it's, it's it's funny really, but sometimes you get a person and you just you you just you can't finish it. You know, it's like you're in a meal, right? And you can't finish your meal, you take it away. And you know, I've been I've been dumping bodies for the last little while, man. And then I just I needed you to take me out here. Again, no fun questions asked to you. I needed you to take me out so I could just dump this body really quickly. And you put a up. fucking human body in my truck. Dude, are you? Yeah, I mean, do you want it to go? Dude, this fucking car is passing right here. You got, there's a body. I mean, you want me to show you? I can't just let this go. Open the fucking trunk. Yo, that just, just hold on for a second. Stand over there. (laughs) 
Brian! Brian, what the fuck? Oh my god! Brian! No, 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 no. What did you do? David should have thought twice before going out with a friend in the middle of the night with no reason to be there. You never know when a friend may go full Brian on you. Isn't that right, Bonnie? He's too dead to care. Good night, my children.